What is starch gelatinization? Starch gelatinization is the irreversible loss of the molecular order of starch granules, also known as crystallinity. It is considered a glass transition from an ordered initial state to a disordered final state, usually resembling a melting process that requires water and heat. In the cooking or baking process, it's the stage where starch granules swell and absorb water, becoming functional. How does starch gelatinization work? Native starch is partially crystalline and highly organized, a result of interactions between amylose and amylopectin fractions which also reduce its water solubility. When dispersed in excess water at room temperature, starch granules only take up about 30 to 40 percent of their dry weight as moisture, causing them to swell slightly and settle to the bottom. However, this process can be reversed. Starch in hot water. During heating and in the presence of excess water, starch granules initially imbibe, bind, water causing them to gradually swell and form a viscous slurry. As heating continues and temperature increases, the granules start losing their crystallinity becoming amorphous as evidenced in the disappearance of the Maltese cross, by refringence, observed via light microscopy. Subsequent heating causes the granule size to increase until they can no longer absorb more water and burst. Rheologically, this is accompanied by maximum viscosity buildup followed by a drop to a plateau. As molecules making up the granules start to leach out from the swollen granules and disperse slash solubilize in the aqueous medium, yield a gel or paste whose properties depend on the concentration and type of starch in the slurry. The amylose and amylopectin fractions start to solubilize at 158 degrees Fahrenheit 70 degrees Celsius and 194 degrees Fahrenheit 90 degrees Celsius, respectively. These fractions become loose and eventually become more reactive and prone to enzyme attack, especially amylases. This image shows the mode of starch granules swelling and loss of birefringence. Starch Gelatinization in Baked Goods During baking, gelatinized starch absorbs free water in the dough. As gas bubbles in the dough expand and eventually burst to form an air-continuous or porous structure. The starch gel or coagulated protein matrix surrounding these bubbles increase in viscosity to form a firm structure, essential for setting bread structure and crumb texture. The extent of starch gelatinization varies depending on Temperature Heating rate and extent of heating Available water pH Type of starch What impact does water activity have on gelatinization? The presence of dissolved solids and low molecular weight compounds such as salts, sugars, amino acids and alcohols, like polyols and glycerol, lowers the amount of free or unbound water, thus necessitating higher temperatures for the starch to gelatinize. This is the reason why bakery formulas rich in sugar and fat and low in water, such as pie crusts and cookies, never attain complete starch gelatinization. Such formulations delay the set of crumb, also known as firming, in doughs and batters during baking. Therefore, for optimum expansion volume build up during oven spring, the dough or batter needs to remain somewhat flexible or viscous to allow leavening gases to expand. These are some common methods used to study starch gelatinization. Optical microscopy. Amylography. Rapid viscoanalysis, RVA. Differential scanning calorimetry. Time resolve X ray diffraction analysis. Want to learn more about starch gelatinization and different types of starches? Visit Bakerpedia. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need to know basis.